I gotta get to school! I gotta feed the cat! I gotta feed the dog! I gotta feed the other cat too! I gotta do my homework! Finally, I can sit down and enjoy some TV. Sometimes our lives are too busy. There's so many things we have to do, but we don't have enough time to do them. If only I did this or that, well, then I'd be happy. But in the book of Matthew, Jesus says this, come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Wait, do you mean like the yellow part of an egg? Uh, no, a yoke is a piece of wood that connected two animals together so they could work side by side. In the first century, the word yoke also meant a way of life or reading the Bible. Jesus' way of life is not one that is over busy. When he and his disciples were tired in Mark 6, Jesus led them to a quiet place to get rest and pray. The busier Jesus was, the more time he took to be quiet with God the Father. When I'm tired, I think I should watch a movie or a TV or play a video game or hang out with my friends, but Jesus is saying that what I need isn't more busyness. I need time alone to reconnect with him. This restful, unhurried way of life is the yoke that Jesus offers us. Intentionally taking quiet time to pray and reconnect with God is one way that we can steward the time that he's blessed us with. When we're overwhelmed, we should slow down and pray by ourselves or with our family. As we learn to practice rest, a great place to start is a steward's prayer. Lord, what do you want me to do today with all you've trusted me with to honor you, to advance your kingdom? May God bless you today as you look for ways to rest in him.